Hallelujah. This is the time that you come out of captivity. Do you worship the God of Israel and you're still living in slavery? Do you share the same house with unbelievers and you feel like this is not the time to be in that place? Are you going in round circles? The same battles that you won are the same battles that you're coming back to fight. Well, today is the day that the Lord is delivering you from that in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is the day that your freedom is coming. When we read from 1 Samuel 5, it says, After the Philistines captured the ark of God, they took it from the battleground of Ebenezer to the town of Ashdod. So you see, the devil is a liar. How can he capture the presence of God? The ark of the Lord was the presence of, the, of, of God. So how can it be captured? So sometimes you might find yourself captive and you call yourself a Christian, you call yourself spiritual field, but you find yourself captured sometimes. But I'm telling you, the devil can capture, but he cannot keep you. The devil can stop you, but he cannot hold you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is with you. No matter who is standing before you to stop you, I'm telling you, he cannot stop you. He will stop you for a time, but he cannot hold you. He can delay you for a time, but he cannot stop you. This is the time that the Lord has anointed you to come into your promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus. After the Philistine captured the ark of God, they took it from the battleground of Ebenezer to the town of Ashdod. They carried the ark of God into the temple of Dagon and placed it beside an idol of Dagon. You see, are you, an, are you in a place of shame? Have they put you in a place where a believer cannot be put? Have, have they put you in a place whereby you are ashamed even before your family, before your peers? Well, that is coming to an end. God is taking you out of the temple of Dagon in the mighty name of Jesus. He's taking you from that place that you've been buried. He's taking you from that place that you've been held for so long in the mighty name of Jesus. The temple of Dagon, there is no glory. So when the ark was in the temple of Dagon, there was no glory. When you're in captivity, there is no glory. When you're in captivity, they do not listen. When you're in captivity, you have no authority. But I'm telling you, this is the time that your authority is coming back to you. This is the time that you're coming back to the position where God wants you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you're coming out of the temple of Dagon. In the mighty name of Jesus. But when the citizens of Ashdod went to see it the next morning, Dagon had fallen with his face to the ground in front of the ark of the lord so they took dagon and put him in his in his place again so you see the enemy keeps putting back everything that you pull down the enemy keeps putting it back everything that you pull down the enemy keeps putting it back but i'm telling you no matter how many times he's going to put it back the lord is going to restore his glory it is going to be pulled down it's going to be destroyed that one is falling today in the mighty name of jesus no we performed against you shall prosper no we performed against you shall stand no matter how many times the enemy keeps put, bringing back your past no matter how many how much the enemy keeps bringing your failures to you you are going to come out as a winner in jesus mighty name but the next morning the same thing happened dagon had fallen face down before the ark of the lord this time his head and hands had been broken off and were lying in the doorway you see this time the hands of the enemy are being broken this time his legs are being broken his legs mean the progress of the enemy in your life is no longer his hands means that his touching of your blessing is no longer there in the mighty name of jesus we cut off his hands we cut off his feet that dark one that has been in your life is being destroyed today you are coming to your place of peace you're coming to a place where he will no longer be raised before you he will no longer be be put before you you are going to pull him down you are going to destroy him you see they had captured the ark of the lord and put it in the temple of dagon but wherever you have been captured from the devil must obey the devil must obey you have been given authority do not back down do not put your weapons down no matter where you're captured from no matter who has captured you no matter what thoughts have been capturing you no matter what stresses have been capturing you you are blessed you can stand and overtake that situation in the mighty name of jesus no matter where they have put you is that area the temple of dagon is your house that been turned into a temple of dagon you know your family is now so wicked that you can no longer feel the presence of the lord in your family this is the time that you're going to find that Dagon is falling in the mighty name of Jesus. By the time you wake up, you're going to find a free space for you, a free 
presence in your house so that you can serve your Lord in peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Dagon is falling in the areas of your finances. Dagon is falling in the areas of your marital life. Dagon is falling in the areas of your mind, your heart, your peace in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no more captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are called the son of God, if you're called the child of God, nobody can capture you. This time, the enemy that had captured you is falling in the mighty name of Jesus. It simply means the enemy is so is a liar. He can capture you, but he cannot keep you. I'm telling you, if you decide not to remain in that mess, the Je Jehovah who delivers his people will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Refuse to be captured. Refuse to stay in the place of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not share the same house with Dagon. Do not share the same ministry with Dagon. Do not share the same space with Dagon. You are supposed to rule. Rule that situation. You see, you are in a ministry, but those who don't believe in God are the ones who are overtaking. You are in a house, but those ones who don't believe in God are overtaking. You are in a relationship, but those who don't believe in God are overtaking. So this is the time that you should know. The devil can come, but he cannot win. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are winning, and you have won for the glory of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Today is your day of, your day of freedom. Now, as I pray for you, the Spirit of the Lord is taking you out of that house of Dagon in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I deliver your people from the hands of Dagon. I deliver your people, O oh Lord, my Father, from the hands of captivity in the mighty in the name of Jesus, that place that they have been captured, that place that they have been stored. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take them out in the mighty name of Jesus. That captivity of the mind, captivity of the heart, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cut their enemies' hands off. I cast their legs off in the mighty name of Jesus. That demon tormenting spirit that comes upon you and you fail to sleep. I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree every weapon that has been formed against you is breaking. You shall wake up to a free life. You shall wake up to find yourself in a place of death. Deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. You are delivered. You are set free. The presence of the Lord is upon you to make you overcome every situation. You are set free. You are going to overcome. You are. You don't belong in the house of Dagon. You belong in the house of glory. Your glory is being returned in the mighty name of Jesus. You are being restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that had brought shame. You know the opposite of glory is shame. Every shame today is broken out of your life and the glory of the Lord is coming upon you. That one is falling and you shall see this. You shall see your enemies falling. You shall see those who stood before you falling. You shall see everything that has been standing against you falling for the honor and the glory of God. Be blessed and thank you for watching. You are coming out of the house of Dagon. You don't belong there. You are a child of God. You were just captured. But today you are coming out for the glory and the honor of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.